coming at you with my 24th Q&A. It's awesome that these keep going on so long and I get new questions every week, which is surprising because that's a lot of Q&As. But anyways, guys, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so this is an awesome question. I already emailed David about this and like my prices and whatnot, uh, but pretty much I wanted to let you guys also know that I'm selling all of my headphones, so all of my Beats, all of them, so I've got my, my Drake ones here, Drake's Superman, I've got Kryptonite, Solo HD, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, my purple ones with the red B, Blue Thunders, Blue Thunders Studios, Blue Pros, Pink Studios with the white padding. This also answers the question about how many headphones I have in like my Beats collection at the moment, and that's what I have at the moment, and I really need to get rid of them because I have so many, um, and it would be awesome if you guys bought them off me. I'm probably going to be putting them up on my store envy if I can't get them rid of them after this video and people are asking me for them. But anyways guys if you're interested let me know my emails here my email is also in the description um so yeah this is an awesome idea I will be drawing Marilyn Monroe in the future. My favorite pair of beats are studios so probably right now my favorite pair that I have um, are my lightning pair just because I like that it doesn't say Beats by Dre at the top um, and I love this pattern I think that it, it looks really cool um, they look awesome on I can show you size so look pretty dope on my head so yeah I love those ones I think they're my favorite at the moment the posters I have in the background, I don't know if you guys can see them or not, they're, all three of them are from 4humanpeoples.com. It is Philly D's website that he sells posters and stuff on, um, which is awesome because he helps people like me make money. Um, and yeah, I'm thinking about actually submitting a couple designs to him and hopefully they will get printed. I'm also thinking about submitting designs to Threadless, which is a t-shirt uh, website. And when I do that, what I'll do is on the video, I'll ask you guys to go over there. And if I do win or if I do get printed, I will be giving away shirts. Um, so yeah. I'll let you guys know the information on that when the time comes. If you haven't already subscribed to my drawing channel, blah, it's somewhere on, on, the, on the page over on my face or in the corners or whatever, um, click that and head on over there to subscribe. A lot of you guys love watching doodles. You guys like doodles on my channel, but you haven't subscribed to my other channel. Um, so definitely go on over there and subscribe. That's where most of my drawings are going to be from now on. I will be doing a room tour soon, so cool your jets, righty QSX. I can't do a hat giveaway yet, guys, because I don't have enough hat sales going through. Um, I have a ton of hats that I bought to sell to you guys, because you guys, all of you wanted hats, and now nobody's buying them, so um, I'm going to be doing a resale, actually like a sale, in general resale. A sale on the hats is going to be quite a bit of a percentage off, and I'll give you guys a coupon code for that. Either that, or I'll be listing them for $39.99, free shipping for two hats. Um, I just need to get rid of them, I need to start making some money um, and putting that back into my channel and stuff. So. Hopefully um, they sell at that price, and yeah. If you're interested, the link is down below. In terms of cars, I don't like driving. I actually am terrified of driving. Driving scares the crap out of me. Um, I just, I don't like the idea of getting hit by a car, and when I'm actually driving myself, I feel like I'm gonna die, so. Um, but cars, I really like the Ford Flex. Um, people make fun of me for that because it's a boxy car, but I actually like boxy cars. They have a lot of room, um, and I could take people with me, like a carpool. There's tons of space in that car, and if I were um, painting and stuff, I can fit canvases in there. It just has, It's a very spacious car, and it's perfect for what I would need it for, so um, that's my car of choice right now. I also like the Toyota Prius uh, because it's really good on gas, and you can't even hear that thing. Seriously, like if you're a serial killer, that is the car to have uh, because you cannot hear crap when that car starts up. So there you go. And I'm not a serial killer, but I'm just saying. Okay, so I get this question probably like 50 times a day, and it's what's the difference between fake pros and real pros? And pretty much, guys, the only difference for me is sound. Um, the sound actually, the sound quality of the fake beats I actually prefer because it's more of a flat frequency response, which means that you pretty much have the best of all worlds, um, the best combination possible. Um, for me, I like it better. They're not the best sounding headphones at that like that flat capacity, uh, but they sound way better than the pros, the real pros, because the real pros are really bass heavy um, and really, really high hitting and stuff, and some people like that, but for the price tag, the differences in sound, there's really not that much of a difference to the point that I would go out and I would say buy the real ones over the fake ones. Like really, they are pretty much practically the same thing. Um, another difference between the fake and pros is that the fake ones have hinges that are a little bit loose. Do I have a pair here I can show you guys? Okay, so, see? But the, they're getting better. See? So they're not falling. 
uh, but this one side is a... Uh, actually, these ones are perfect. Um, so that's not a good example. Same with the drakes. Uh, so I guess the newer pros are getting better, um, and the hinges are ready better, but the other pros that I've had, fake pros, uh, the hinges have been really loose um, and on one side. The other side's been perfect. So maybe they've got it out on both sides, and they've taken my advice, <laughs> I'd like to think that, and fixed them. Uh, but yeah, pretty much that's the only difference. Okay, and this is a this is another thing that like people are saying my hats are too pricey. I don't know where you guys buy hats, but here if I go to Lids or whatever and I buy a hat, um, I'm looking at thirty four ninety nine minimum to forty four ninety nine. Um, they don't have hats cheaper than that here. I don't know why they're cheaper where you are, and you're telling me pounds or G G B. GBP, um, that's the type of money that you, you, you said there. The money here is different. So 10 pounds there is like $18 here. Um, and I'm selling them for $29.99 with free shipping and shipping is like 10 bucks. So pretty much you're getting the hat for 20. Um, that's how much I've been selling hats for, but I am having a sale coming up for two hats for $39.99. So stay tuned for that and check out my store down there. You can also like my store. Um, so join store envy, like my store, follow my store, and you'll know when new items are posted and when deals are added and such. So yeah. Check that out in the description if you're interested. Nicki Minaj to me is an original artist and that's why I think that she's awesome. Um, at first I was kind of iffy with her. I don't know if I like her as a person, uh, but I don't really know her obviously. I've never met her, but from like interviews and stuff that I've seen her, I've seen her on Ellen. She seems kind of spacey almost. Um, but and then again, whatever, I don't know her so she could be different in person like if I actually spoke to her. But in terms of her music, I think her music is really original and the way she's going about her music style is different than whatever's out there right now. Now. Um, and though she dresses like some other celebrities, like <laughs> Katy Perry, um, maybe um, other than that, she is, you know, she's quite original. I, I think that she's going down a really good path because there's not a lot of, of originality right now in the mu music industry, um, and that's fantastic to see. So yeah, I do like Nicki Minaj. Oh, well, that's sweet. No, I'm not a performer. My mom was a performer. She actually was an actress uh, for a while until she decided to have me, and then she quit acting. And she, it's kind of upsetting because I was told that she actually had um, a job lined up that was going to be with a play. Because if you guys don't know, when you're an actress and you, you do stage like work, um, you are signed up as a certain character, and they like go from town to town, city to city, um, all over the world. And she had a good spot for that. Um, I don't remember what, I'm not sure what play it was for, but apparently it was a great job opportunity. But then she decided to have a baby and she got pregnant with me, so um, it didn't end up happening. But yeah, my mom was an awesome actress. She, even when she wasn't acting, um, she was very uh, vocal and we always used to sing together and that's how I started singing and it's a gift that I actually got from her, so I'm very grateful for that. Um, and it's a little piece of her that I have and I'll always have with me. Uh, when will the beats be? Okay, so this is another really good question because DHgate has been doing a PayPal thing, like I've I've said. Um, I don't know if it's gone away for me because I have never had an issue with it. I look up beats on DHgate and I get pictures of beats. I've had no issues. I don't know if DHgate has like this block on their website that if like somebody is a loyal customer and they've been back like multiple times, um, that they're trustworthy enough that they can view all of the products. I don't know if that's how DHgate works. I can ask for you guys. Um, but pretty much I can see everything. I have no issues with it. Um, I don't know if you guys are just having is issues because you haven't bought anything yet. That's pretty much where I am now, what I'm thinking. Full screen is going awesome, guys. I absolutely love full screen. The only thing is right now, um, with the whole, I have to wait another two months to get paid. But that will happen and then everything will be good again. Um, but with full screen, um, I love all the features that full screen offers me. Um, my ads go up on idio vi videos. Videos really quickly, which I know you guys don't like us talking about ads, but the thing is that's how we make money and that's how we put out content for you guys. Uh, that's how we get paid. And without it, we can't be do making videos like we are. Um, so yeah, uh, the ads go up instantly, which means I get extra money from that. So that's awesome. Um, the customer support is fantastic. I actually have somebody to contact. Like with with YouTube partnership, getting a hold of and of anybody like YouTube partners is next to impossible. Like. I remember when I was a YouTube, like just monetized and all of my doodles were getting like taken down and stuff, I was, I felt helpless. Like honest to God, it was the worst feeling ever. So I was putting out my own work, there was no copyright infringement, nothing was wrong, and my stuff was getting taken down and I didn't know what to do. Um, and that's actually why I got YouTube Partner was because when you get YouTube Partner, um, that kind of goes away and you have more trust with what you put out. Um, but honestly, like YouTube doesn't
doesn't even have a number. Like you can't contact YouTube uh, with full screen. They answer within like 24 hours. It's been it's been heavenly. And my actual network that I'm with with Techie Jess is full screen. Like you can be with the main full screen, or you can have be like what they're talking about with all sorts of different separate ones, like Tiny Galaxy. Um, for my drawing channel, I'm with Motion Pixel, which is kind of like an animation uh, drawing graphics type network which is really cool for me to be a part of um and yeah I'm, I'm very happy with full screen and as soon as i get paid i'll be even happier Whee! okay so i'm totally jelly that you have the new ipad no i don't um i had the ipad 2 but i sold it um i don't know why i'm talking british but anyway um i am very jealous that you have the new ipad i've seen the screen and it looks absolutely brilliant beautiful um and i would die to have one not really die but you know what i mean i would love to have one how about that um, I think iPads are a fantastic piece of technology just in general. I think it's opened up many platforms, many doors, not even just doors, but just ideas uh, for future inventions and future tech. And um, I think it's great for the education world. Um, my two-year-old goddaughter can use an iPad. Um, I think that's fantastic that there's the technology is getting so um, intuitive that little children can use it and figure it out and she swipes things like she knows how to swipe like holy crap like that's so cool um, and I think the iPad has definitely opened up the door for future technology that will help children's minds grow and develop and that is really exciting for me and cool to see. I think singing a cover would be awesome but obviously I would need to sing a cover with somebody that um, knew what they were doing with pr music production. Um, I'm not that great at it. Um, I don't really know how to play like guitar and piano and stuff and uh, with all that stuff I would like to have background music if I sang. Like I can only really sing a cappella right now uh, because of the fact I don't have instruments that I can really record with. Well, actually I do have guitars and stuff and I do have a piano but I don't have recording. Yeah. Anyway, um, I would love doing that. I think that'd be fun. I don't know if I would do that as a career. Um, it would definitely be a hobby of mine. I love singing. Um, would I consider doing a video about my school life in the past? I don't know. Would you guys be interested in that? I could if you wanted me to. Let me know down below. Okay, and all the next questions that are going to be popping up the page right now are popping, popping, maybe popping up. I don't have, I haven't decided yet. Um, but. I had a whole bunch of questions about my hats, um, and you guys told me, do a hat video, do a hat video. Um, I will be next week. I will be having one of my vlogs will be my hats, um, and I'll do it professionally, and I'll put them on, and I'll do... It's The only reason why I'm not doing it now for you guys is because I literally, like, seriously, dudes, here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18... Like another, like literally just here and back there, I have like 40 to 50 hats, and then I have two cap racks that are completely full of hats. I probably have like a hundred hats, that's not even including my blank ones. I have a lot of hats, and to do a video like that, I need time and um, I need to be able to take them all down, and that's gonna be a process in itself. Holy crap! So, probably I'll do a video for you guys next week because you guys really seem interested in it. So, let me know what you guys want to ask me down below and most likely your question will be put in the next Q&A so don't forget to do that that's awesome helps out these videos helps me talk about stuff for you and um, also if you guys are interested in buying a hat or the hat deals follow my store envy store sign up for store envy the link is down below it's an awesome site guys not just for my hats they have really cool t-shirts on there um, really dope stuff from other people there's some artists on there selling prints it is just an all-around really really cool site um, and you guys should definitely check it out and browse around and stuff. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I can sell some more hats, guys. Please, 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 I'm going to be doing a promotion, too, for $39.99. Um, check that out down below. And yeah, I'm probably going to be selling blank hats, too, because you guys seem to be wanting that. If you guys want me to sell blank hats, comment down below, like blank, new era, the green, the red. I have a couple purple and a couple gray. Um, let me know, and I will put those up there for you. And until next time, guys, be ba da ba do ba da ba Doodles. Hello YouTube, this is Techie Just coming at ya, um, and this is just a quick little type one take video just letting you guys know about this stupid dude that um, is going around the internet gathering fake beats videos and posting it on his channel as his own stuff.